Hello and welcome to June 2016, paper 2, question 4. Do not forget to subscribe and click on the notifications button. You can equally visit our site on gcematpanel.blogspot.com. Please subscribe. Question 4. Use the Moir's theorem to express cos 4 theta in terms of cos theta. This question requires us to, to re represent multiple angles in terms of single angle. So we are going to use the Moir's theorem of cos n theta plus i sine n theta equals cos plus i sine theta all of that to the power n. We expand the right hand side, we compare the real and imaginary parts and obtain the identity. Using this identity, cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta equals cis 4 theta. And it's expressed like that. We can use binomial expansion or the Pascal's triangle. Using the Pascal's triangle, we have to the power 4. So we use the bottom. And this gives us cos to the power 4 plus 4 cos cubed i sine theta plus 6 cos squared plus i sine theta squared plus 4 cos i sine theta cubed plus i sine theta to the power 4. When we expand, we have cos to the power 4 plus i 4 cos cubed sine minus 6 cos squared sine squared minus i 4 cos sine cubed plus sine to the power 4. Bringing the real parts together we have that and the imaginary parts together we have that now using the identity cos 4 theta is actually a real number so this will give us the real part cos 4 theta is equal to re part of cis 4 theta and this will be equal to cos to the power 4 minus 6 cos squared sine squared plus sine to the power 4 but the equation requires us to give a final answer in terms of cos theta only so we further use other identities to simplify this, knowing that sine squared theta equals 1 minus cos squared theta. And when we simplify, our final answer will be 8 cos to the power 4 minus 6 cos squared plus 1. We now move to the next part of the equation, which requires us to look for z in that expression given. So when we look for the LCM, we have 1 on Z cubed to be equal to Z2 plus Z1, all that on Z1 times Z2. And solving for Z, from here we have Z cubed, Z, uh, Z3 to be equal to Z2 times Z1, all that on Z1 plus Z2. We now put in the values and simplify. And a simplification after that is done will give us a value of minus 8 plus 6i on that all that on 5i's so we either multiply numerator and denominator by minus i or by i such that the i is no more in the denominator and in this case we obtain minus 8i's minus 6 all that on 5. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for question 5 that will be coming and many other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Bye bye.